So we're going to cover chapter one today, just an introduction to chemistry. Um, so the slides are going to have um, a breakdown like this for the chapter. And when I post these on YouTube, I will post each segment separately. So if you just need to look at section 1.4, you can just go and see that section. You don't have to go through the whole video of the whole lecture. So why is chemistry important? Um, the book has given us several reasons. Uh, chemistry is needed for developing new materials, new pharmaceuticals, you know, drugs, good drugs, um, new energy sources. Knowledge of chemistry is important for our food supplies, um, especially maintaining their safety, helping the environment, preserving the environment, and knowing what's toxic and what measures are helping, and monitoring water quality and all kinds of things like that. And you can probably think of other ways that chemistry um, might be important. The bottom line is that a knowledge of chemistry is useful to almost everyone. Okay, so I have given you today a copy of these notes. I have fill-in-the-blank notes for the entire semester. I printed them for you today because I know that most of you wouldn't know to print them ahead of time. But in the future, if you want to have these in class, you need to print them yourself. Okay? So the underlined words, you hear this word underlined, everyone? That goes in the blank. Okay? I did this because some students have a hard time paying attention and writing everything down at the same time. Some students don't know what to write down. And so this is a way to give you, um, you don't have to write very much down so you can pay attention, but there's enough writing down that hopefully you'll stay awake. <coughs> I, I, won't, um, I won't be offended if you fall asleep on me, but we may talk about you while you're snoring. So in this class, we're going to learn the principles of chemistry. Um, but what I hope will also happen, which is even more important, is that you'll become a better problem solver. And problem solving can carry over into all aspects of your life. And we're going to learn you know, a scientific approach to solving problems. So what exactly is chemistry? There's many different definitions. Um, one definition is the science that deals with the materials of the universe and the changes that these materials undergo. So, you know, soil is a material of the universe, the air, our bodies. Anything that you can feel or touch is, is composed of matter, and that's what we're studying in chemistry. And then also the changes that those undergo. Chemistry is considered by many to be the central science, and certainly chemists feel that way. Chemistry overlaps with a lot of other sciences. It overlaps with medicine. It overlaps with biology and geology and physics. So there are some aspects where you're like, yeah, but, well, that's physics. Yeah, but it's kind of chemistry too. And understanding chemistry helps us to understand those other fields. And that's why if you're a biology major, you may say, well, why do I have to take chemistry? Because chemistry is going to help you understand biology. 